Uh, I do want to introduce myself. My name is Adam Nance. Uh, tell you a little bit about me. I uh, grew up in Colorado. I was born and raised here. This is my uh, fourth year at Creek and my 15th year teaching overall. I was over at Eagle Crest for years and years. Um, growing up here, I went to CSU for my undergraduate degree. I was a history major and a political science minor. And uh, the reason why was because uh, my big plan was to be a pilot. My dad's a pilot, my brother, my sister, everyone's pilots. So I was a pilot for a while and I kind of realized, I said, I don't think I can do this forever. So I kind of reevaluated and said, well, what did I really, what do I enjoy? And I was a history major up at CSU because I had a history teacher that just really made me love history. And as I always say, it's like I wish it was my finance teacher that made me fall in love with the subject. <laughs> Would have been a little more lucrative, but um, this is just kind of the way that it works for me. And as I always say, it goes, I couldn't imagine doing anything else. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. So um, when I finished school up in Fort Collins, I came back down here for my master's degree when I was done flying. And I got my master's degree in education at Regis University in Denver. And um, I did my student teaching here at Creek. So uh, when I got hired on at Eagle Crest, I always sort of had in the back of my mind that I'd end up back at Creek one day. And after a few things kind of fell in line and uh, about 11 years over at Eagle Crest, I came back here. So uh, it's very nice to be back here. But um, I also have a student teacher this year. Uh, he's my second student teacher and uh, I'll let him introduce himself. Hi, I'm uh, Max Tidyman. Like uh, Mr. Nance, I'm born and raised in Colorado. I grew up around here. I'm a Cherry Creek grad, so I can really feel well, I've been through, like, been in your shoes of your kids hauling back from east to west, <laughs> like you guys have been doing tonight. But no, uh, yeah, I was in this building, in this department where I had such amazing teachers that made inspired me to want to become a teacher. And so now I'm here, and like Mr. Nance, I also went to CSU. You can see why they paired us together. <laughs> I, studied, I studied history and minor in political science like Mr. Nance, so we're just a perfect match. <laughs> Take over the world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so I do want to explain um, a little bit about what the course looks like, because uh, being U.S. history, I was very fortunate because my first year teaching they kind of hand you classes and they say, you know, new guy, figure it out. So my first year teaching, I got U.S. history and I thought I could not be more lucky because this is what I want to do. So over the years, uh, they gave me some other classes. Uh, when I was at Eagle Crest, I had government and AP government. And then when I came here, they said, well, we're going to give you street law as well. I said, I've never done street law and I haven't taught a new class in, I think it was eight years. And said, Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I would love street law. It's going to be great. But they said, we do have an opening for U.S. history. I thought a lot of things are just kind of aligning for me. I'm very fortunate. So uh, the way that we do things here is we kind of lean on the middle schools because the overwhelming majority of the freshmen that come to us come from either uh, campus or west. And we do have a few that are coming from out of state or different schools. So when they come to us, we are basically told in eighth grade, they get up through the Civil War. And when I hear that, I say, I trust you somewhat. So uh, when they come to us, I always kind of ask you, go, OK, guys, how far did you get last year? And when I talk about last year, I say, hey, I know I didn't get as far as I wanted to last year. So you guys tell me. And it was pretty standard. They actually kind of, in, in normal years, they're sort of all over the place. But what that means for me is I start with really the lead up to the Civil War, the Civil War itself, kind of the abbreviated version. And then we go into Reconstruction right after. So by about the week three or so, I finish the Civil War and then everyone's on the same page for the most part about then. So going into about week four, we do Reconstruction and that should be new for everyone. So the way I do things is I do it chronologically. And I will say it, there are some of our teachers in our department that do US history thematically. And I think that's wonderful because I actually did that when I was student teaching and I don't want to do it again. But <laughs> they love doing it that way. And I th play to your strengths. I don't want to do it that way. So we have a lot of uh, freedom to do it the way we want. So I do things chronologically. Last year, of course, everything was thrown out of whack, but I got almost to where I wanted to end the year last year. Last year, 
Um, I ended uh, the class with the end of the Cold War. So we got to the 1990s, and I was patting myself on the back for getting that far. But traditionally, we're going to get up into about um, about roughly the early, uh, about 2010 is where I'm going to get to, in theory, of course. So, yeah. So that's the plan. Yes. Um, I do want to just kind of open it to you guys. Do you have any questions about uh, either of us or the class? Do we get peanut butter cups? We'll see if you win. <laughs> Peanut butter cups are the ultimate carrot on a stick. So, um, anything I can answer for you guys? I like that you do it chronologically. So, you're going to start with the Civil War right now? So, we are getting through the Civil War. I'll finish that up in the next handful of days here, and then we'll start Reconstruction. All right, wow. That's, that's a big war to take a couple of days. <laughs> well, I take about three weeks. Oh, okay. And uh, it's because some of my kids have already had it. So oh, I gotta go yeah. fast. Some haven't had it at all, so I gotta well, give last them the year version. Was a whirlwind being online, so I, sure. yeah, I'm sure you know. Sure. They'll probably watch it. I was, to be honest, I was actually very pleased with what the middle school teachers got them through last year. So they kind of hand them off to me, and they got them to the spot where I need them to be. So hats off to the middle school teachers. I was expecting a disaster. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else I can answer? Yes. What does homework look like? Great question. Um, the way I've designed homework is uh, they have a textbook, but the textbook is mostly supplementary for me. So I have them take the textbook and leave it at home because every roughly every week or so, I give them an assigned reading section, and it depends on the section. It's five, six, seven, eight pages. They read that section, and they have the option to take notes on it. They don't have to, but taking notes on it is very beneficial because they'll have a reading quiz when that reading's due. So the reading quiz will take place first thing in class. They can use their notes on their quiz, and they get bonus points just for having their notes. And the quiz is every week? Uh, roughly, yes. It depends on the unit, and sometimes our book does a better job in certain units than others. So um, it might be slightly less frequent than that, but it's about that. Oh, we have one tomorrow. We do have one tomorrow. Are there any projects that they do? We do uh, one big research project, uh, research paper, to be honest, but that's going to come most likely in the spring. Um, I have to kind of coordinate with our librarians and kind of work around both our schedules, but traditionally they've kind of saved the spring for me. Anything else I can answer? Is there a library in the East? No, we actually, uh, it was built back in, if I remember right, it was... Building. I remember being here. East, uh, I, I believe, I think West is, I forget which one. West or East is older. One. No, this is the first one. I mean, it, when I was here in 93, 94, it was like, it was a dungeon. I mean, walking down the halls was like, it was, yeah. It they was did like, a remodel yeah, um, <laughs> right around 2000, I forget that the 90s, but right. uh, they the built that the building. Like, it is, yeah, yes. Yeah, so yeah, they yeah, built yeah, that yeah, building yeah, um, in home. the late 90s to basically house our gigantic library. Probably a year after I left. I don't think I've ever seen the library. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one with all the books. <laughs> we will. We'll go. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Okay. Um, thank you very much for coming. I really do appreciate it. I'm happy to let you guys go a little early because you know Creek is enormous and it's hard to get everyone seven minutes. So thank you. Have a good day, guys. What was that, sir? Yeah, may I ask a question? Sir. Sure. Uh, my son, we just moved from uh, other country, and he attended the like, American school, but I'm not sure about uh, anything that he has, like uh, history, like uh, civil war or whatever. So do I pay her kind of like, more attention to that? Or what if he didn't learn anything last year? Because of online school is really? open. Sure. Uh, um, it's tough for me to answer not knowing in what he had last year. I will say uh, the textbook that we have goes before the Civil War. It goes all the way back to colonization. So if you're concerned about last year, the textbook is a, is, is a great resource. Okay, so he just needs to do it. Anything you really require? That's what I want to Dividers from unit. From last year, that would be my best recommendation. Um, or if we do, just then the from Civil War stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes, because we do civil wars go forward. Uh, the middle schools are responsible for before the civil war. Okay, is it possible to have like a like a 
a separate uh, appointment for him to just to go through the, what he knows about or just how it like let me do this ask him if if he's concerned have him okay. send me an email okay and we can okay. chat of course i will talk okay. to him yeah okay thank you certainly okay. yeah have a good one Hi. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, Austin. Sarah. I have Brady. I'm Adam. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Um, I was just gonna say I highly encourage you to encourage him to take notes. I think that he's gonna really need that okay. piece. Um, We've talked about it every day cool. up until uh, probably yesterday, uh, maybe a couple days ago, where I have told him a said, "Here's why the notes are very important." Yeah, he really needs that it. in order to be able to retain the information because okay. he needs a lot of opportunities to okay. see the material many, many times. Okay. So I just texted him and asked him if he read it and did he take notes. Because if you oh, didn't do it right notes. now. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> yeah. tomorrow they've got a quiz. Yes. I heard. Yeah. They do. So I just wanted to say hello. It was very nice to meet you. Nice Thank to you meet for you. coming. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Marshall's my son. I don't know if you know. Oh, yes. Him. Yeah. He sits yeah. right over there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, but I was wondering about my next class that I needed to go to. Let me take it's supposed a look to be here. the same. Oh, it's a mess. Let's it's supposed see. to be American government in with Mr. Clark in E four oh one, but isn't that where I am? Uh is it it's the one in the curve. American okay. E. I've been looking at Uh this. yes. Yeah, that's right. I think this is four oh one. This is this is your other son's yeah. schedule? Yes, because Mr. Clark will be in, in here right after us. So okay. we're off and we're okay. leaving and okay. Mr. Clark's coming in. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Certainly. I will remind Marshall about his quiz. <laughs>